Hello students. Today we will learn about a computer system. Okay, now let us talk about a computer system. Meaning, computer is a useful machine. It is used in almost every sphere of life. We can play games, write letters, draw pictures, listen to music, store information, solve sums etc. on a computer. It can work very fast and can do many jobs at the same time. In the previous class, we have learned the use of computer in different fields. Let us review some of these areas. Space research, offices, hospitals, designing, defense, airport, animated movie, banks. Students, do you know Charles Babbage is regarded as the father of computer? Now let us talk about hardware. The physical parts of a computer that we can touch or feel are called hardware. As we already know, a human body consists of different parts. The outer parts of a body are visible, whereas the parts like brain, lungs, heart, etc., which are inside, cannot be seen. Similarly, in a computer, we can see only those parts of the hardware that are outside. Example, monitor, keyboard, etc. They are attached to the CPU by cables. Some parts of hardware are inside the CPU. We can see them when we open the body of a CPU box. Example, hard disk, CPU chip, etc. Students, let's understand the main parts of a computer. A computer has the following four main parts that help in performing the IPO cycle. Monitor. A monitor looks like a TV screen. It displays the work that we do on a computer. It also displays the movement of the mouse pointer on the screen. A monitor is also known as VDU, Visual Display Unit. The information that we see on a monitor is called soft copy. There are three different types of monitors. Number 1. CRT Cathode Ray Tube Monitor CRT monitors contain a vacuum tube and are bigger in size and consume more power. Number 2. LCD Liquid Crystal Display Monitor LCD monitor has a flat type of screen. It consumes less power. Number 3. LED Light Emitting Diode Monitor these monitors have better display. These are thinner and lighter in weight. LED monitors use 40% less power than LCDs and last longer. These monitors are in maximum use today. CPU – Central Processing Unit it is the brain of a computer that processes all the instructions given to the computer. It solves all calculations and displays the result of the monitor. It also stores a lot of information. A CPU is made up of three main parts. They are MU, CU and ALU. MU memory unit. In this unit we can store data and instructions which are to be processed and then passed on to ALU or CU. Control unit. The control unit works like a traffic policeman. It controls and manages the working of all the parts of a computer. ALU Arithmetic and Logical Unit 
This unit performs all arithmetic calculations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. It also performs logical operations like finding the greater number, smaller number, greater than equal to, less than equal to, or equal to and not equal to numbers. Keyboard. A keyboard is used to type data and instructions into the computer. The commonly used keyboard has 104 keys which can be divided into many groups based on their functions. Ok students know the fact that Sir Christopher Latham Scholes is regarded as the inventor of QWERTY keyboard layout. Number 1. Typing Keys These keys include letters, alphabet keys, numbers, number keys, punctuation, full stop, comma, semicolon, colon, single quote, double quote, and special symbol like plus, minus, semicolon, dollar, etc. keys. These keys also include the shift, caps lock, space bar, backspace and the tab keys. Number 2. Control keys. These keys are either used alone or in combination with other keys to perform certain actions. Control, Alt, Windows, Logo key and the Escape key are the various examples of control keys. Number 3. Function keys. These are used to perform specific tasks. These keys are placed on the top row of the keyboard and are labeled as F1 and so on till F12. These keys have different functions in different programs. Number 4. Numeric Keypad The numeric keypad consists of number of keys from 0 to 9, the arithmetic operators and the decimal point, similar to the keys of a calculator. It is placed on the right side of the keyboard and is used for entering numbers at a fast speed. Number 5. Navigation Keys These keys are used to move through the documents or web pages and editing the text. These keys include Arrow Keys These keys are used to move the cursor on the screen. Home Moves the cursor to the beginning of a line. End moves the cursor to the end of a line. Page up moves the cursor or page up by one screen. Page down moves the cursor or page down by one screen. Delete erase the character after the cursor or the selected text. Insert turns the insert mode on or off. Mouse. A mouse is a pointing device. It is connected to the CPU by a cable. A mouse usually has two buttons on it. It is used to point, select and move any object on the screen. When we move the mouse with our hand, a pointer on the screen moves in the same direction. It also helps to draw pictures. Nowadays, the scroll mouse is more in use that has a scroll wheel in the center of the two buttons. Students, do you know that Dr. Angelbot is the inventor of the computer mouse?